Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrappy and Abby, and I'm back with my second personalized pocket letter. I'm so sorry that first one that was purple that I showed you guys, I um, feel like it was kind of uh, really scattery, <laughs> so I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean for it to be that way. Plus my daughter came in from school and I was trying to understand what she was motioning at me too. So anyway, so this is the um, pocket letter that I made for my girlfriend, um, Cheryl, and she is one of the four that's coming to my Scrap Gals retreat. So if you're watching this one um, after or before you watch the, the very first one where I show all four of them together, the story behind all of this is in that first video, so I won't repeat it again. So um, Cheryl's favorite colors um, were blue and green, and so these are the colors I chose to work with. This has a little bit of purple in it, but I still think it's it goes with it, um, the other colors. So that is what the front looks like, and I'll show you the back real quick. And that is the back, and I, um, as I said in my first video, I always, always decorate the back of something. It doesn't matter if it's a card, an altered box, a layout, tag, it doesn't matter. I always have something on the back. I just don't like it when it's plain. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can share with you guys what I used on Cheryl's pocket letter. Oopsie. So some of these things I won't be able to open up the pockets because I did seal them. I didn't really think about that before I did the video. I mean, it's removable. It's just washi tape, but I don't want to lift anything so that they get the idea of like they're opening something. So I'll just tell you what's in each one if I'm not able to kind of pop it open myself. So as you can see, I did the same kind of theme with a the banner. This is one I got from Pick Your Plum. Um, I have a ton of videos from Pick Your Plum on my um, YouTube channel, so you guys should go check it out. It's pickyourplum.com, and I got a ton of these packs in Craft and White. So I chose white for hers. I was going to ink it, but I didn't want to, I thought, because I wanted to kind of pop off the pocket letter page a little bit. And then I just used some more of the Crinkle Ribbon from Three Girl Jam, um, which is no longer in business. I'm so sad. I was on her design team. Um, but it's, I have a ton of it left, and it's just beautiful stuff. This is just a bit, uh, button in my stash, and I used just a little bit of dark blue twine. This is some blue washi tape, and I'll show you um, those up here in a second. Actually, it's not washi tape. It's called glitter tape, and I'd never used it before. It's American Crafts. I like it. I'm such a, a dork. I didn't realize it was actually tape because I didn't read it, and I just put some... Um, what I put on the back? I put some of the score tape on there, and I was like, oh, I'll just use that real quick. And the next time I grabbed it, I was like, why is this so thick and shiny? And I'm like, oh, duh, Abby. It says right there, glitter tape. <laughs> so anyway, so there's that. And then I sprinkled again in here just some more of the different colored sprinkles, or excuse me, the sequins. Everybody got gold, but then their second color was what went with their favorite colors for their pocket letter. So the um, hearts that you're seeing in here, and the hearts came from this uh, super old Creative Memories Heart Punch. And then I have um, the Hello that you're going to see on all three, or actually, all, actually, excuse me, all four of the um, pocket letters came from my um, Diamond Press from Crafter's Companion. And I will be doing a review on that a little bit later. And then I just use a, ver a variety of the different word stickers and strips that I have in my stash, just in some um, alphas, just to kind of spell out some different things and to put some little sentiments on top of each pocket. So the first one here, I have just a sampling of the same sequins, which is what I shared in the first one. I gave all four of the girls uh, two or three of the same things, and everything else is different, just so they can kind of have something customized. But I did share a little bit of that with them there. And in this pocket, it, um, the same thing again as the first one. These are just a variety of some metal embellishments, some flowers, keys, corner pieces, things like that. Um, this one has her sampling of clear washi tape, and I'll show you the four that I used for her because it's kind of tricky to pull that out. So these are the four samples I gave um, Cheryl and hers because I wanted them to coordinate with her favorite colors so that way she could use it in some projects or things like that. And then what I wrapped each of the washi tapes on on one card, it's just some of the clear cardstock from Heartfelt Creations. And let's see here. That's it. Okay, next row down. And the paper stack, I should have told you, this is from um, DCWV, and it's the, oh, believe it or not, it's the latte stack, because um, there's lots of blues and greens in here, and I love it. This is an old, a super old stack, but I love it. So that's what I used entirely for her pocket letter. All the colors just work perfectly. And so again, some more of the hearts. This is just from Queen & Company. It's kind of a, looks like a candy-coated heart. And then again, the Tim Holtz tea cup die, and that's... I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but I just use a little tea tag, and I also use um, the same tea in this one. It's my ginger pear from Trader Joe's. I love it because it's like in a white packet or clear package. I think that's so cute. 
That way the girls can try my favorite tea. So I gave all of them the same. This is just a strip of some bling for my stash. Um, some of the... Um, I, I forgot to use it in the first puck litter makes. I forgot I bought it, but it's some of the iridescent um, chunky glitter. I just got it from Walmart. These are just a samplings of some different pieces of like the um, bling flat backs, um, you know, like the brads, but they're like blingy, jeweled and stuff. So I gave her a sampling of those. And I tried to pick the colors that she likes with a few of my favorites too. And this down here is where I'm putting the letter for each of the girls. I'm doing all of theirs in the same spot. I haven't written her letter yet either, but I'm doing all four of the letters tonight so I can get these wrapped um, and then do a video on that as well. So I won't be doing showing how I wrap this one I'm going to do a separate video for all four. So again, my husband, you know, he just was able to freehand draw an envelope for me. And then I just put one of my Dollar Tree Heart stickers on there because it is going to be on Valentine's Day weekend. This is a butterfly from Prima for my stash. Gold clip for my stash, planner stash. And then just again, some more of the hearts and the sequins. Same thing over here. And then what I um, in, put in this one is just a bunch of these. I'm not going to be able to get them out because it's going to make a mess, but I'll just show you guys. I have a bunch. These are from Studio Calico, but there are a bunch of these wood um, embellishments, you know, like the different um, banners and that kind of stuff. So I put a bunch of those in there for her. I thought I saw something else in there too. Oh, I put these uh, words in here. I don't know where I got these. I think I picked these up at a garage sale or something, but they say different things on each side. And so I picked out ones that I thought were characteristic of her, like, you know, strong and um, intelligent and beautiful and things like that. But then I flip them over and they're not the same. And one says monster. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I hope she doesn't think that I think she's a monster. So we have a really good time. We're all like super good friends and just have a ton of time laughing. In here are some Recollections um, wood buttons that have like a print on them. And so that's what I gave to Cheryl in her pocket letter. And I'll show this to you guys again. And I think it turned out really super cute. Um, you know, it was really a lot of fun to make, and um, I'm just excited for each of the girls to have it. And so, like I said in my first one with Ron and Lee, of course I wouldn't be stuffing them this full if I was actually going to mail them to them. Oh, I forgot to show you this pocket. This pocket has some tags that I made myself. They're made out of some fabric, and I tea stained them. And I have one here I can show you. It's not, it doesn't say the same thing because I only made so many of each one. But this is from some from fabric. Uh, I can't talk. This is some fabric that I picked up at um, uh, when I was out junkin', and I used some different levels of tea, different you know strengths of tea, and then I just stamped it, and um, I just made a bunch of these up so I could have them for a different project. So I gave her like four, I think, and kind of folded them up like this. So that's what that's what's in that pocket. But I think I shared everything else. Let me just take a peek here. Yeah, I think I did. So anyway, because um, clearly if I tried to mail these, it would probably cost me like almost five bucks a piece because they're pretty heavy. But since I knew they were coming to my home and I was going to hand deliver them, I knew it wouldn't be a problem for me to stuff them um, quite a bit. So there is Cheryl. So I'll be back with Cindy. She's up next. See you guys in just a minute.